All right, man, I wanted to go ahead and do the video for this. Um, so this is the cooler that I keep on my driver, on my passenger seat. Excuse the hot sauce. Um, this one was about a hundred, it's cold. This one was about a hundred and something dollars. As you can see, if you know what the size of the one pound Hishire Farm joints are, you can get about two and a half of those in there. Usually keep me some water bottles and some drinks or whatnot in there. Um, I like it because it fits on the seat pretty good. It's not big enough to block the mirror over there. And uh, it's temperature controlled. And it has it comes with a plug, but you can also plug it into the lighter plug. This is the one I use for my deep freezer. Uh, excuse the mess on the floor. As you can see, it, this thing is deep. Uh, how deep is it? There's usually a, a white rack in here. Um, this one's the key. It's like a little refrigerator. This one is the deep freezer. It's pretty deep, and I'm trying to see how to measure it. All right, loaf of bread. This is a loaf of bread. All right. Um, you can control it right there. It also plugs into the lighter plug. I usually keep this at a negative two degrees. I can fit plenty of steaks and stuff in there. Okay, <laughs> I can fit plenty of steaks and stuff in there. Um, I usually keep it up top up that way. I usually keep it up there. Um, you can tie it down. You can put some Velcro on the bottom down here. Usually I just slide the water bottles over there. Blah, blah, and it stays in place. Um, both of these are Astro AIs. Link will be down in the bottom. The Amazon affiliate link will be down in the bottom. This one was about 300 and something bucks, but it's worth it because it's a deep freezer. And if you know anything about the having your refrigerators in a truck. If you know anything about having your refrigerators in a truck, you already know that uh, you buy them from the truck stops, they're a hundred and some bucks, they last about six months. Either the fuse blow or the fan blow. Um, they're pretty big and bulky. But I like this one because I can keep my water nice and cool in there. I can keep uh, fruits, vegetables, whatever, nice and cool in the refrigerator that's on my passenger seat. And then I can keep all my meats and everything in that freezer up there. Another reason why I like them, and it might not make sense to you guys, but it just seems to make sense to me. I could plug them into the lighter plug. If I had to plug them into the inverter, that means when I turn the trucks off, turn the truck off, my inverter is still pulling a lot of power from the batteries. This way, to me, that seems to save the batteries. I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what it seems to me. Um, fine with me because uh, once you plug the inverter in and you turn it on and you turn the truck off for you know a day the battery is going to be dead or whatnot and we, that's not what we want um, when I know I'm about to be out the truck for about a good five six hours I can set each of these freezers to frozen so I put them like negative four or whatever and everything will be frozen so when I cut it off it takes that time to thaw and since they're insulated it'll hold the cold a little bit longer to when I come back to the truck that's when I turn the, the battery off uh, to the truck but uh, they're really good I've had them for a good three four months now and uh, it was money well spent so now anytime I need to I want to cook something healthy for myself I just bust out the butane I just bust out the butane so we're gonna go ahead and show you that real quick bought out right keep my little canisters right here listen don't worry about why that's right there okay don't worry about that all right so I use these right here. You can get them at Walmart. Hold on, let me show you. The All right, pull out the little joint right here. Bop, bop. Oh wait, I locked it. And that's what I cook on. It's a little messy right now because I need to wash it or whatever. But that way, um, I use that because, because when I cook, the electrical ones, again, you have to plug it into the inverter um, for some reason, they don't seem to hold the, what's the word I'm looking for, the heat long enough. So with the little butane joint right here, Coleman, link will be down there as well. Um, I keep I can cook my food how I want. I got me a little nonstick pan. Hold on, let me show you that as well. 
Got me a little nonstick pan right here. It's a little dirty because uh, I haven't washed this since the last time I cooked it. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, that's what I do with that. And I usually keep keep this right here. Uh, yeah. Let's look at all in there. Uh, yeah, yes. Wait a minute. Let's try that again. Action. Bam. And it's out the way. My floors are nice and... Uh, I ain't gonna say clean, but it's clear of uh, large objects. Uh, also, this right here to keep my, uh, you know, charging my phones and stuff like that. And this is Velcroed down, so it's not going nowhere. And it's a lot of plug as well, but y'all seen these before. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the links down below. Sorry I don't have no proper review for these right here, but uh, that's what I use. Like I said, I keep that one right there, deep freezer. And I've had plenty of plenty of meats and, and different things in there that I need to keep frozen, microwave goods or uh, or different things like that. So, Astro AI, good products. Don't take up a lot of space. They keep the cool, and they do what they're supposed to do. Other than that, it's CRB, baby. Um, <clears throat> to the individual that asked about that. Oh, also, this right here fits down there. Okay. So you can slide that right up in there and it will be out the way. So, uh, yeah, other than that, CRB, baby. Basic, very basic review. <laughs> All right, now, I'll holler at you. Peace.